Hi, today I'm gonna to give you two really quick tips to level up your reporting and workflows in HubSpot. When I first started building workflows and reports, I was a little confused that there was no today's date variable. So I went to the community and what did I find But this awesome workflow, which is a little bit of a hack, but it works to populate a today's date property that we can then use for reporting. So the way it works, this is a workflow on my deal. I'm using deals for my reports. So I have a deal enrollment trigger, which looks to see if the property, which is a custom property, today's date is known or not known. Basically, we always want to enroll the deal in this workflow. Then I check if today's date is known, then let's keep going. We can just run this workflow again or set this workflow to run again the next day. Make sure we have this 15 minute delay in here. So 12, 15 AM, make sure it's always the next day and then set the date to the date of this step. So set today's date dynamically to the date of the step that this workflow ran. If backups are uh, if then branch, if today's date is not known, then we can immediately set today's date using the same method. So why is this so powerful? Well, when you want to do reporting, it's really helpful to have a numeric value instead of a date. So if I go to our deal properties, let's take a quick look at what this looks like. So we have today's date, which is a date field, which we just set in dynamically in that workflow. But I also can create these other calculated properties for days since X. So that allows me to get the difference. I can now use the difference between a known date and today's date to get the days since X. So as you can see here, we have an equation, which is a time between property type, which is in this case is looking at the difference between last contacted, which is a HubSpot native property and today's date. So this will give us on a deal, a number of days since that property was updated. The reason that this is so helpful is that in your reports, you can now do averages and time-based reporting based on that day since last activity. So just to show you what this looks like really quick, we have this report for last contact versus task completion. So now for every member of our onboarding team, I have this report which shows me the average days since they last contacted the customer and a different day since last property, days since onboarding progress. So these are average fields based on that numeric custom property, custom calculated property that we just created. This is a really quick hack to level up your reporting. We'd love to know what you think. Thanks so much.